Bro, bedrock? How do you have bedrock, bro? What the f Today's video sponsor is GVG where using my SKG discount code leads to a 25% off across several products, making a Windows 10 serial key only $16. After the payment, you'll receive the key in your account and all you need to do is to introduce it in your Windows settings and BAM! You have an activated system. Hello guys, Ancient Gameplays, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel. So as for today's video, we have another review, this time of the Adrenaline 22. 10.3 and as I say in all my videos 22 is the year 2022 10 is the month October and 3 is the revision in that same month so the third revision of October just before going into the release notes just let me tell you that um, the previous drivers the the optional WHQL the 22.10.2 drivers as you can see in this video they um they actually added support for some games after it was released so on my video we have no highlights in terms of game supports but um but after some days they actually had the support of some games so if you want to re-download it it's fine i believe or maybe they just changed the the release notes because they forgot to add those games who knows and as for the 22.10.3, it is an optional driver, this time not WHQL signed, it is just optional, okay? But that doesn't mean it is bad. Different things. Now let's go into, into the release notes. Okay, so now we have highlights and support for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, like I said in the previous video, uh, the support for Modern Warfare 2 should be coming on the 22.10.3, and here it is and Radiant Boost using Variable Rate Shading in Dying Light 2. Which is, I mean, nobody uses Radiant Boost, so I don't really know why they keep pushing this, but whatever. <laughs> As for the fixed issues, Elite Dangerous may crash upon launch on Radiant RX 6000 series GPUs, and this is one of the things that people playing this game were complaining about, that there were lots of crashes and so on, and AMD actually aimed uh, on the previous drivers, they said they were aiming at the 22.10.3 to actually fix this issue, and it seems that they did fix this, this issue on the on the driver version they were aiming to. So they were aiming for. So that's a very nice thing. And if you play Elite Dangerous, just leave a comment in the comment section letting me know if it is actually fixed or not. Black screen may occur during driver upgrade or settings reset using Microsoft Windows 11 version 22 half 2 on Radeon RX 6000 series GPUs. Another thing, another important thing that was fixed. And the last one is lower than expected performance on Gotham Knights using AMD processors on AMD graphics products such as the Radeon RX 6950 XT. So if you have a 6950 XT and you play Gotham Knights, well, this is the driver for you because it will indeed improve your performance. Yeah. As for the known issues, we have some of them and some new, some old, but let's go into it. So the first one is World of Warships prediction lines may be missing on RX 6000 series GPUs, resolution targeted for 22.11.1, when Raiden anti-lag is enabled, a beep can be heard when pressing Shift plus back key. Resolution also targeted for 22.11.1. Once again, now AMD is actually letting us know uh, in which driver they are aiming to fix a certain issue. Like for example, on these uh, three issues, they actually are two issues. They are aiming to fix it at the 22 or fix these issues at 22.11.1 driver. So the next driver version, uh, they will get these fixed. I hope, I hope they do. And we have the mighty GPU utilization may be stuck at 100% in Radeon performance metrics after closing games on some AMD graphics products such as Radeon 570. Okay, once again, this issue has been going for so long and for people actually having problems with this, it is quite annoying. Stuttering may occur during video playback using hardware acceleration with Firefox on some AMD graphics products such as the Raiden RX 6900 XT graphics. 6900 XT graphics. Um, but yeah, 
Basically, they actually fix the hardware acceleration problems on most browsers, but it seems that Firefox still has some issues, mostly on the 69 on the 6900 XT, not on all cards, but on the 6900 XT. Okay, and the last. Yes, the last known issue is brief display corruption may occur when switching between video and game windows on some AMD graphics products such as the Radeon RX 6700 XT. Now, according to the previous video, to the 22.10.2 video, on the comment section people were actually telling me that with the 6700 XT in most scenarios this issue was fixed. It seems that it was fixed for some but not fixed for others, which is quite intriguing, intriguing, yes, intriguing, but, um, well, I believe it will be fixed for every user in a matter of, of some driver versions, like in a matter of two or three dri driver versions, but, well, we have support for Modern Warfare 2, which is nice, a better performance, I suppose, I don't have the game, so I won't test it, um, but, yeah, overall, pretty nice things, more, fix are more fixes are coming and we already have some fixes here, some really important fixes, mostly for people playing Elite Dangerous, for example, so this is a driver, is a decent driver version, yeah, no doubts. Now, as for my experience, let's go to the notebook, it's kind of a, just a book, not a notebook, anyway, as for this, well, in the 22.11, in the 22.10.2 drivers and some previous ones, we were having some issues, for example, with um, when installing the AMD drivers and you actually right click on your desktop, you have those uh, those shortcuts to the AMD uh, to the AMD Adrenaline software and it was bugging and it is still bugging on the 22.10.3 version, but all you have to do is actually re reboot your computer because this only happens on the first time you install the drivers, on the first reboot. As soon as you reboot again, it will be completely fine with zero issues, okay? But it does happen on the first time and it does happen with my RX 6800 and it does happen with uh, 5700 XT as well. So it is a thing happening, but after the first reboot, you're completely fine. Another thing that I noticed in the previous drivers and I don't really know if it happens, it still happens on these driver versions because from what I tested it is okay but I didn't test long enough to actually know if it happens or not. But with the 22.10.2 I had some issues in some games where I couldn't actually open the Adrenaline software when I was inside the game. As soon as I quit the game it was, it was completely fine but inside the game it just wouldn't open. But so far the 22.10.3 seem to have this issue fixed, okay? But I don't really know. I suppose it is fixed from my experience so far, but I, I'm not 100% sure on this one. And yeah, the last one is basically better performance in Rainbow Six Extraction, okay? Just slightly better. Uh, a bit out of the um, margin of error, just slightly better, both on the 6800 and on the 5700 XT, and that's why I know it is not just margin of error, because on two systems, on two completely different systems, um, the game just runs slightly better with these new drivers, 22.10.3. And well guys, as always, let me know what you think in the comment section. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video because that really helps a lot. Um, and yeah, once again, leave your comment in the comment section. Let me know what's your experience with these drivers and if they are going well or not. Without any more to say, see you in the next video. fast for me. Come on, sorcerer, catch us! Hey, slow down. You'll exhaust our villain. This is your tower. It's evil. <laughs> Doesn't he ever get tired? Ooh.